If you listen carefully, if you listen really carefully, you can hear a herd of buffalo. Morning Jabbers, how the devil are you? Well, excellent, yes, me too, thanks very much for asking. I'm pretty awesome, thank you very much. Um, a good night's sleep. My chest still isn't 100% but it's definitely getting better than it was and today I've got a day in the flat. I can't go anywhere at all. Susanna has a parcel that's been picked up today that's going to Slovakia and I have to make sure that somebody comes and picks it up so I have to stay at home until it does and that could be any time today. So I'm literally going to shoot to the gym, do a quick session and then just spend the rest of the time at home and working I guess, editing all that stuff that I've done yesterday. Stop procrastinating Simon and get cracking on with it. First thing first though gym session like I say protein bar to uh, give me some energy before I get into the gym and uh, we'll get cracking Okay, so I'm waiting in at the moment for a guy to come and collect one of Susanna's Christmas gift box things to send to Slovakia. So that's happening at the moment. And uh, while I'm doing that, I thought, you know what? I'm going to crack into the editing of the uh, the powerlifting competition. And I'm getting there slowly but surely. It's uh, it's all here at the moment. There's quite a lot of it to, to go through, as you can well see. This is pretty much about here. I think it is how much I've done so far. And um, yeah. I think it's I think it's going okay so far. I've I've found some bits and pieces. I've uh, gone to try and be a little bit artistic and a little bit edgy with some bits and stuff like that. And uh, as you can hear, I found a really nice quiet little ditty to to go with with it because who wants really heavy metal music when you're watching a powerlifting competition? I know I don't. I would prefer something really soft and poppy. So that's what I've chosen. So as I've got to stay in today and wait for Susanna's parcel be collected, uh, George is coming over here for a bit of a coffee and a laptop session. He's all parked up, ready to uh, find the house. The only downside being is that the houses around here have no numbers on them. So unless you've been here a number of times, it's easy to get lost and not know where you've got to go. So I've come out to find him because he doesn't know where he needs to be. So let's see if we can find him. Dun -ba -dun -ba where is he? Here he is, the man himself. This is uh, number two. I'm not saying which street. If you listen carefully, if you listen really carefully, you can hear a herd of buffalo running by <laughs> down here. <laughs> See you later, mate. Have That's a good one. Ta da! So, frankly, uh, what's happened today has been unacceptable. The company who we booked the courier service through has screwed up. Big time. I'm not going to say who they are because I'm going to give them a chance to solve the situation before I start bad mouthing them. But basically, we booked through a particular company to have a collection made by Parcel Force. Uh, this other particular company hasn't responded to any correspondence on Twitter or on their messaging system, which I sent a message about three hours ago and I've heard nothing. I also contacted Parcel Force, who were the guys we were meant to be picking up. Really helpful, absolutely brilliant. However, they have no record of our parcel due to be being picked up today. In fact, they have no record of our parcel full stop. Went up to this other company's Twitter and found quite a few other people that had the same situation happen. And the most annoying part being is that, if memory serves me correctly, today's the last chance of having an international delivery picked up in time to arrive for Christmas. Because Christmas internationally happens on the 24th, especially in Eastern Europe. So we need it to arrive there by the 23rd, which is a week tomorrow. And yeah, it's not looking good for this parcel to arrive in time. So if I find that out to be the case, I'll probably be demanding some compensation as well. Just really, really annoyed though. This just absolutely sucks. How can you not do what your business says it's meant to do? I just, I don't get that. We booked this on the 7th of December. It's now the 15th, it's over a week ago and yet we've heard nothing from them except an email this morning saying your parcel's gonna be picked up today, brilliant! And it hasn't been, because they don't know about it. It doesn't quite make up for uh, the courier company being 
but uh, thanks Waitrose, your coffee's put a smile on my face. Oh. You're watching Stop Jabbing On. So thumbs up the shut up. He's slugging here, stop jabbing on.